Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us share some education together. Uh, before we start, you know, like I noticed there is some Muslims in the chat as usual. But the second I say something in the text like you like to call me, they ignore. As an example, we have Mr. House of Saudi in the chat and he is, uh, I mean, he is going all over the place and he is willing to answer all of you. <clears throat> But for some reason, uh, House of Saudi, we asked him, do you like to call me? He did not answer. So, Mr. House of Saudi, I will start with you. Even our program today have a title. But, you know, I will use your words as an example of how Muslims they do not know their God. Let us start with you saying that Allah does not enter his creation. Allah does not enter his creation. You know, my experience with Muslims that I never saw a Muslim, he knew his religion. And you will see that immediately when we start answering this people. <coughs> I am from Indonesia, how I can call? You cannot unless you are a Muslim. Only Muslims can call me. Uh, let us start with this uh, Muhammadan and prove to you that zero Muslim he understand Islam, zero. Muslims are not Muslims. Muslims are fake people who pretend to know and to be Muslims. This is House of Saudi and his, his text. I just take a screenshot of it and we will see together what he said. Allah S-A-S-W-T. I mean, first of all, have you ever heard of religion? They add, pray on Allah. I mean, what does SWT mean? You are you going to pray on Allah, or what? What does that mean? What does SWT mean exactly? Very funny, weird people. They don't even know who's God. They don't know what the word God means. And look what he said: Allah does not enter His creation. That's wonderful. That means your prophet is a fraud, because your prophet he said in the hadith that Allah He come down. And the Quran says that too, isn't it? The Quran says then Allah, after he finished the earth, then he went up to the sky. So he, what he was? <laughs> if he is not in the top of his throne, he was where? <laughs> I mean, Muslims are the most funny people ever. I never saw a Muslim. He tell us about his religion and I don't die laughing. So listen carefully. Uh, he's a prophet saying that this is rich. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is your God, Mr. House of Saudi, and you just confirmed to us that your prophet is a fraud because it's your prophet who said that Allah, he go down every night at the third part of the night to the lowest heaven. Where Allah, he live in the top of the seven heaven, where he's going down? To the lowest heaven so how you say to us Allah do not enter his creation and he is inside his creation so now we the question is who is the dummy the followers or the prophet obviously the prophet because a house of Saudi he knew what he's talking about the prophet is stupid I agree I mean you Muslims you go you go to the Christian you say to them how God enter his creation brother God does not enter his creation, brother. And this guy, he is a man. He have a mustache. He have a beard. So all his life, look at him. Look at him. And he is dressing as an Arab. Suppose he's an Arab. Okay. So this guy, for how many times he repeated in his life that Allah does not enter his creation? All his life he was saying that to his wife, to his son, to his daughter, to his mommy, to his daddy, to his neighbor, to everybody. In two seconds, we got you busted. Where are you, Mr. House of Saudi? Why your text is not there? What happened? Did you flee? Did you decide to take a hike? I mean, your text was running like a, like a crazy before I show up. Now, suddenly, I don't see your text. I want your answer. If Allah does not enter inside his creation, is the heaven of Allah in his creation? Is going between heaven seven to one down is entering the creation? No. 
He will say no, right? People will laugh. Ah, give you time? How come? You are searching Google? Guys, he will answer me, give me time. What about you call me life? And by the way, you know, we share we share our 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 support and our prayer for the Christian Indonesia or the, the terrorist of Muhammad, the attack at church, as we know. And why I'm not surprising, I mean this is what the fruit of Muhammad is. The filthy Muhammad he have to strike and bite. So don't blame the Muslims, blame the filthy, the head of the snake, Muhammad. He is the biggest terrorist. I'm waiting for you, House of Saudi. How come suddenly you need time to answer? <coughs> Turkey are a sheikh? Oh, okay. Another potato. A rich man who do not know what to do with his money. Hmm. Is football halal? No. But the Saudi they support football, they buy football teams, you know, they enjoy European, uh, you know, blonde girls. Are you searching, my friend? What happened? You were like a, you were like an answering machine a minute ago before I show up, and like defeating the Christians supposedly. Would you answer? Now you are searching. Let me search. Let me give me time to answer you. I mean, do you need even time for this? Look, your prophet said, your prophet said that Allah He come down every night in the third part of the night, and here we need to ask a question: What kind of God He work as a yo-yo? I mean, I feel sorry for this God. You see, God in Christianity, He came to us, let us say, a few times through the history of mankind. He came to Abraham. He came as Jesus Christ. So, but God, He keep coming up and coming down every night. I mean, this is a yo-yo. So your God, from now on, we should not call Him Allah. We should call Him yo-yo. Look, until now, He is searching for an answer. So until you uh, find the answer, which you will not find, you know, and you will not answer anything because now you do not know what to say. I remember even the Quran says that Allah, he was in the tree and he spoke from the tree. Allah is a tree. Uh, the Muslim, they will say to me, oh, this is uh, the Bible says that uh, 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 the God of Musa, uh, uh, Yahweh, he spoke, he said to him, I am Yahweh, I, I am who I am and from the tree. So is uh, God in the tree? Uh, well, hold on. For us, we believe that God is a spirit. For us, we believe that God can be anything he wants. He can appear as a fire, but he is not really a fire. He can appear as a bird if you want, but he is not really a bird. Uh, he can appear, uh, uh, you know, as whatever, anything he wants. Because he's almighty. You see, almighty means you can do anything you want. It's not up to you to decide what God can do or not. Either he's almighty or he's not. But when we see Muslims, they say to us, that Allah cannot enter his creation and then we find that Allah is speaking from the tree huh? and he's and the Quran is very clear to the point the Quran says that the tree where Allah was located is a blessed tree okay the location of it is a bless is a blessed is Mubarak. Read carefully. So when Moses he come to the tree, he said, or he heard a voice. A voice was heard from the right bank of the valley, from the from a tree in a holy ground. From where? From a tree. From where? From a tree. So where the voice coming from? From a tree. O Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord of the world. So if I read this verse carefully, Allah is the tree, because the tree is speaking, saying, I am Allah. You see the voice coming from where? From the tree, not from the bushes, between the bushes, no. It says in Arabic, Mina shajara, mina shajara. Not from between the branches of the shajara or the, the leaves, no. From the tree, the, the voice is coming. So the token tree says, I am Allah. So based on this verse, I can say Allah is a tree, but I'm not going to play this. Uh, I mean, this would be silly, right? I mean, we know that the Muslim don't believe that Allah is a tree. Uh, the Muslim, they believe Allah is an octopus. As an example, he have two hands and they are located in the right side. He have one shin, but they don't know about the other shin, what happened to it. Maybe he lost it in Taliban war in Afghanistan. They knew that Allah have five fingers, but you know, I mean, 
Uh, you are misquoting the hadith. Okay, he descend, he command and mercy. Guys, the word descend is command and mercy. Look, look, look at the answer. There we go. Huh. You see how they fabricate? Muslims, they don't believe in Muhammad's word. Suddenly, he take a words of somebody, but not Muhammad saying that. Your prophet, he said, Allah, he descend. Suddenly, it descend his command and mercy? So why your prophet didn't say the command of Allah and the mercy? The command? Let, me this, let, let me show everybody how stupid what you just said. Is it Allah, he says in the Quran, that Allah, he gave his order to the angels and they are the one who operate and they are the one who deliver his mercy and they are the one who, who, who descend? Is it the Quran saying that and it take them 1,000 years to deliver? This is against the Quran. So the stupid who gave you this answer, Sheikh Muhammad ibn Salih, is an idiot. Because the Quran say the following, let us read the Quran. Hmm. Remember, uh, Saudi, you are talking to Christian Prince. You are no match and your sheikhs are potatoes. Read carefully. <clears throat> And this was the website. All right. Why you don't call me a Saudi? So we can laugh and people they can enjoy this uh, this comedy. All right. <clears throat> and uh, you know uh, people they can hear your your side of the story. Uh, let us see. And now you will go and find different answer to f the, the, to fight what I just said, because what I s I'm going to show you is very embarrassing. <laughs> Guys, Allah here He is talking about His uh, His mercy, His mercy descend. What is His mercy is an object to descend? I mean, how stupid this statement is. The mercy descend. Why mercy is a person? Is it a piece of a plastic or a piece of wood? So what kind of idiot he says to you that mercy descend? Read carefully. This is chapter 32, verse number 5. He rules all affairs from the heaven to the earth. In the end will all affairs go up to him in a day, a space wherefore will be a thousand years you're rocking. Or your count. So the affair go down, those are the angels. And you can read the interpretation. If we go here, the verse before it says, it is he who created the heaven and the earth and all between them in six days. And and and, and look here, the translation here, how false it is. And is firmly established on the throne. Does it say that? No, it says, and then he went up to heaven. Is tawa. Change the translator. You will see how the Quran changed. This is Yusuf Ali. So Allah was in the earth for six days. Who was in the heaven then? Nobody. Who was in the throne? Nobody. The throne was empty. Read carefully here. We just change the translator and the Quran changed. Look at this miracle. The corrupted Islamic religion by Muslims. Allah is he who created the heaven and the earth and what is between them or between uh, in six days. Okay. Then he stawa, then he rose over to the throne. So what he was? He was down. <laughs> so the sheikh who told you what he told you is an idiot, my friend. He did not know what he's talking about, but I will tell you why he said that. He's trying to find a solution to the stupidity of Muhammad and what he's saying. It's contradiction for everything. In one hand, the Muslim Sunni, they try to say uh, Allah is a physical being. In the same time, they say he cannot be inside his creation, but you idiot. The second you say is a physical being, physical being, he need a physical, if he needs space. As long as he is a physical being, it means there is a physical space. So when you say Allah have a hand, okay, the hand is located and inside what? I mean, do you, do you even use your brain? When I say Allah have a hand, okay, the hand is exist where? 
It have to be exist inside a space then because it's a hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? If Allah have a shin, that's mean Allah is a is a physical being. The Muslim Sunni they agree by the way Allah is a physical being. Okay, as long as a physical being, the physical being have to be inside a space, a physical space. Even if it's empty, still it's considered. A space so when the Muslim they say to us Allah have a hand Allah have a shin Allah have a uh, uh, all, all the drama you know Allah okay Allah hand Allah shin Allah balla, malla, lalla, where they go where, where he put them he put them inside the microwave huh what we would do with Allah Okay, uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah, Azza let's move the video a little bit. Watch the video, what he's saying. Just to show you that those people, they do not know what they are worshipping. Don't devote five minutes a day, ten minutes a day to the Quran. No, devote more, an hour, an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn <coughs> what it says at the same time. Now, in the Quran, Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is... Liar, it doesn't say except Allah Azza wa Jal, except, except the face of Allah. So Allah will cut his hand, Allah will cut his feet, Allah will cut his... <laughs> this is what it says, except your uh, Allah face, so everything will be destroyed. So Allah will, what he will do with his leg, it says only the face of Allah. They say that when he say only the face of Allah, they mean the existence of Allah. But look, he is showing us that Allah has a face. As long as Allah, he mentioned his face, that means the only thing will stay is the face. But anyway, let it go. Tell us more about Allah. He's referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He okay, so Allah have a face, it's a physical face. If Allah is cannot enter his cre creation, that means Allah is entering different creation. Remember Muslims, Christians, Hindu, Jews, Buddhas, atheists, potato, tomato, whoever you are. Huh? This guy, he said, Allah does not enter as a creation. As long we now, we discover that Allah has a face, and Allah does not enter as a creation, obviously the creation we have is not the creation of Allah. Because as you see, he's entering the creation. And when Allah have a head, and have ears, and have a tongue, and have lips, and have eyes, and he don't enter his creation according to this man. That's mean Allah is entering different creation. Maybe this is in the you know in the uh, you know uh, the back of somebody who reporter you know. Maybe he is in the like in the uh, the witch uh, magic box because Allah does not enter his creation. He must then we we, we need to find him a space because now we discover that he is a physical being continue shake tell us more about your allah he is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending uh -huh. he's yeah. the creator of the all uh yeah he's the creator of everything there's no, there's no proof by the way do you see let me tell you there's uh, something i did just yesterday but this is between us you know and don't please ask me for proof do you see the moon do you see the moon? You see, like, look, look at the moon. If it's night for you, like if you live in Asia right now, it's it's night time. Do you know this moon? This is not the true moon. I created another moon and I took the first moon and I replaced it with the other moon. Prove me wrong. And me, not only that, brother, I split the moon when you are asleep. Yeah, I split it two parts and, you know, I made like, a, I put it in the microwave, I grow it. Don't you see, there's, ton there's tons of video that says it grow from seeds. So I took some seed from the moon, I grow it, I put it there, I took the original moon, and now I'm going to put it and set in eBay. I mean, everybody can say, my God, they created everything. But have you ever heard of a God, he created everything, yet he claimed that the sperm became a dead blood, and then the dead blood became a baby? Have you ever heard of a God, he says, the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman? What about a God, he thinks that hail is coming from mountains in heaven? 
I do that too. I, I used to work as God part-time, you know, like I mean the old day in the time of the Greek people. So I used to like, hey, the Greek people, they get hot in July. So I say, okay, Greek people, you know, invoke me. I am, uh, you know, uh, uh, Tontos, whatever his name, and then I will break hail for you and throw it at you. This is a true story. It's not Muhammad stealing from the Greek people. No, it's always a true story. God, he have, he break hail from mountains in heaven and he throw it at us. Proven to be true. Or what about a God who, <clears throat> he said the sun set in murky water, and the prophet confirmed that. <laughs> Let us continue. Okay, tell us about me. Until now, I did not, we did not start with the topic, by the way. We will go to the topic. But we are just uh, showing you how silly this religion is, that every single follower of this religion do not know who is their God. Uh, what you see and what you do not see, and he's not created and he does not die and he does not have it how he can die if he doesn't exist you must him sound like an atheist he come to me to prove to me that god does not exist i mean hold, look, hold on hold on how stupid the idea is that you want to prove to me that he does not exist if he doesn't exist how you can do that so guys he did not he's not a creator he did not who do not die well he's dead prove me wrong the proof that Allah is dead, Jesus came 600 before Muhammad, 600 years. How many prophets Allah he sent between Jesus and Muhammad? Zero. <laughs> but by mistake, Muhammad, he mentioned that uh, uh, John the Baptist is a prophet and, and mentioned in the hadith that there's no prophet between him and Jesus. He forgot John the Baptist, but as usual, in contradiction and stupid. So where was Allah for the 600 years? He was dead or alive? What happened? I mean, Allah, he keeps sending prophet after prophet after prophet. Allah, according to Islam, he sent 124,000 prophets. Can you name them for me? Sure, sure. Uh, Maharaja, uh, Guru, the love Guru, uh, Guru Surugu. Guru, all the Guru of India is obviously, uh, where is, where is, okay, uh, uh, India alone have 400 languages at least. And the Quran says we never send, we never send a prophet except in the language of his people. We never, never, you know. That's mean Allah should send 400 messenger at least to India alone. Where is the revelation of Allah to the Indian alone in 400 languages? And by the way, this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud again, because Muhammad cannot be a messenger to the people of the Bengal, Bangladesh, India, etc. Why? Because the Quran confirmed we never sent, no way, a messenger except in the tongue of his people so they might understand. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is an idiot. His name is Muhammad. He keep making poopoo. -poo. Muhammad is talking, making poopoo. -poo. Muhammad is a poopoo -poo machine. The more he talk, the more he make poopoo. -poo. Okay, I will go with this verse. If this verse is a tree, is, is a true. That's mean Allah. He sent the prophet to to Japan, and Japanese are not one ethnic. Okay, okay. Who is the, what is the name of the Japanese prophet of Allah? Muslims. What is the name of the uh, Chinese? There is many ethnic group in China. Remember, it says uh, he never sent, never, never sent any messenger except to speak the language of his people, which means he has to be from the people and he has to speak their language. Muhammad don't speak the language of China's or the languages of China or the languages of India. He don't even he don't even know his own language. The Muslim they say to us, Muhammad do not know how to read, how to write, but we have to, we have to be, we have to agree that there is only one proof uh, that Muhammad is a prophet. How we know that? I mean, an angel he came to Muhammad and he said to him, say A L M, and the prophet he was able to repeat the three letters. I mean, do you know how hard it is? Put yourself in the shoes of the Prophet of Allah. And then an angel, he come from the middle of nowhere. nowhere. He squeezed it three times. And remember, you have to be squeezed three times. Otherwise, you are no prophet. The squeezing point 
is a strategic point for Allah. Allah the squeezer. So Allah He squeezed you, and by squeezing you, He activated the mayonnaise inside you. And then right away you became a prophet. So look what happened. And look how at the emotion, the guy when he talk emotion, I mean they, they are so good in acting. I mean, what a fraud. Do you really believe what you are saying? Ah, he's doing business for the fool. He's talking to him directly. He didn't say you believe. He said the messenger believed. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Wa hadha takriman lil Nabi alayhi salatu wasallam. Allah he spoke to Muhammad directly. Show me the reference. Isn't it the Muslims say all the Quran sent to him by, by Angel Jibreel? Turkey, Turkey in the stage. And because nobody there to correct him and to tell him, what are you talking about, man? Nobody is thinking as long as you are praising Muhammad, the praised one, that's what his name is. Nobody object you. Praise Muhammad as much as you make all the lies, all the stupid things, even if it is against Islam. As long as you are praising Muhammad, you are a good, good, good to go. Turkey. Go ahead, Mr. Turkey. Now, even in his presence, he speaks of him in the third person to honor him. Allah, he spoke about him in his presence in the third person to honor him. Allah is honoring Muhammad. Okay, why Allah is honoring Muhammad? I will tell you why he honor him. This is the reason. I've seen mention this story, uh, and once again, so with Maria, there's all of these mini stories that are problematic from one perspective, and this is also one of them. And again, I reiterate it: it's better you hear it from me than from others. And also, this is in the Quran, so you can't really. You better hear it from me better than others. Who is the others? You know the answer. And this is also in the Quran. So Allah He honor Muhammad for what? Read carefully. Like this is a verse in the Quran. It is reported in uh, Al Tabari uh, that, and many other books of Tafsir, that one day Hafsa uh, went away and she was not going to be uh, at home. And so uh, the Prophet called Maria to the house of Hafsa. And it so happened that Hafsa returned earlier than she was supposed to, and she saw Maria leaving her house. So she became extremely enraged and she became irritated. Uh, with the Prophet Sallallahu and she said that Ya Rasulullah, uh, is that how much, uh, how do I translate this, respect you have for me or is that what you think of me uh, in my house and on my day? And so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued to placate her and calm her down uh, and she basically was very emotional and until eventually she made the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, promise to never ever see Maria again. And the Prophet said, I have made her haram for myself. Okay, hold on. So the wife, she leave the house. Muhammad, he called the slave, the African slave, which have no choice to say no, no or yes. Hey, come to the bed, take off your panty. Muhammad, he jump on her. The wife, she come earlier than supposed to be. Come. She saw her. She said to him, in my bed, you see this guy is a liar, he's not even quoting the correct story. She said to him, in my bed, in my house, fi bayti wa ala sariri, in my house, in my bed, you are effing the women. For sure Allah will honor his prophet. He is an effing machine. I mean, the, you have tons of wives. The wife, she leave the house, you ask different person, why? Because he wanna change, you know, they are like candies for him. They are like, you know, Muhammad, he changed shoes. You know, this is how women for him. So for sure, Allah will honor him. This is why the Quran have a verse speaking about Allah giving him opportunity to F anything he want, except nowhere in the Quran it says you can F your servant, nowhere. It says Malakat al Yameen, which is the one you own them from war. If you ask the Muslims who gave Muhammad permission to have sex with Mary the court, some of them they say to you, even they lie, they say, Oh, he married her. That's a lie. I can show you the fatwa right now from your scholars saying he never married her. She was just a cumpupine, cum eh, a kind of a cucumber. So Allah, He honored the Prophet. <coughs> You need to show the reference? What do you need to show the reference? It's in the front of you. The guy is saying here, this is chapter of a tahreem Chapter of a tahreem 
Verse number one. Read the interpretation. And this is what uh, uh, Qadi is reading for you. <laughs> you need to show us the reference, okay? <laughs> and actually, uh, when Muhammad, when Muhammad, he, he, uh, uh, he spoke about this, or let us say he got busted, if I show you the verse which Muhammad he received from Allah, you will die laughing. I mean, what a comedy. This is God is talking. Let us find the verse. Let us find the verse so we can laugh together. Hmm. This is a prophet of God talking. Sorry, Allah. Allah is reporting for us something happened. Hey, Allah, what happened? I will tell you what happened. Hold on. Okay, what happened? Okay, let me find my thought together and I will tell you what happened. Okay, what happened? Allah knows best what happened. <laughs> Read with me this verse. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. I mean, this verse is so deep. Take notes, please. Take notes. Chapter 66, verse number 3. If you have a grandma and she likes gossip, invite her. With my respect to old, old people. Read carefully. This is God is talking. And when the prophet recently communicated a piece of information to one of his wife, but when she informed others of it and Allah made him to know it, I thought, what the heck? Okay, he made known part of it and avoid part. So when he informed her of it, she said, Who informed you of this? <laughs> So when the prophet, he said to Susu, and Susu, she told Mimi and Dudi and Ee, -E, and Oo and Oo, -O, she they said to her each other, and they spoke to each other, and they start gossiping, and then the prophet, he told her, and she told some, and she did not tell the rest, and the rest was not informed, so Allah informed him, and then she said to him, and he said to her, who informed you? What a story. What? What is this? But what? What's happening here? Are you uh, House of Saudi? Are you there? Do you like to call me and read this verse for me because I'm getting dizzy? What is this? This is God is talking. So, the prophet secretly, secretly, like what the heck? High profile? Secret information, CIA profile. Ta -da -da Rambo. What is this? So when the prophet secretly communicate, what do you mean communicate? Communicate. It says he said. The words he said became communicate. What does that mean? Like he sent the Morse signal? Ah, secretly. Like Morse. Communicate? What does that mean exactly? I mean, what kind of a translate? Let us change the translator. Communicate. Whew, that's deep. He communicate like, you know, cell phone, like he sent her, like, what's, what's up? What's up? And remember, when the prophet S-A-W, like they have to add S-A-W, they cannot say even their prophet name without praying on him. He's God disclosed a matter of confidence <sighs> to one of his wives, Hafsa, between two brackets, Hafsa, Hafsa, shame on you. Never tell a Hafsa a story from now on. If you see a woman, her name is Hafsa, I'm telling you, she will tell the secret to everybody. So the prophet told Hafsa, I will tell you something. Don't tell it the something to something else. Anyone else, don't tell him, okay, this is something only for you. Hafsa, she went to the coffee shop. She, you know, she texted uh, Aisha. Aisha, she texted uh, uh, <laughs> Sauda. Sauda, she did. <laughs> and you know, the, 
the, the, the chickens of the prophet is God coming from every direction, brother, from the war, uh, four corners of the earth. And then the secret became very secret. <laughs> hey Muslims, this is story is written in the book of Allah before before Allah created the earth of, by 50 years. <laughs> secret top secret file is over the internet the prophet he said something secretly to his wife what secretly he promised her don't make a big issue don't talk to your dad about me having sex with the slave insulting you in your house in your bed I promise you I will make your father a caliphate you see the scam but look at the verse. I mean, this verse, I mean, they say to you, the Quran is clear. Okay, if I am a person, the Quran is given to me. How I will understand what this verse is talking about? Any Muslim can tell me? If Allah is talking to me and telling me something, okay, I'm reading it now. How I know really what they said, what she said, what the story is about, and what is the secret? Shouldn't the Quran say? <clears throat> uh... Okay, hold on, hold on. Guys, House of Saudi, he just said. S-W-A, S-A-W, mean, read, read carefully. <laughs> what kind of sense they're talking about? This is what he's worried about. S-A-W mean, God bless you, but you eat it, you added the word. S-A-W, after Allah name. Do you see how stupid you are? So, if the word S-A-W mean God bless him, you are adding S-A-W after Allah name. That means Allah is blessed by God. Who is that God? According to you. By the way, S-A-W, or uh, it doesn't mean uh, uh, bless him because salawat, salawat, salawat mean prayer. Stupid. You added the S-A-W after the name of Allah. <laughs> I and mean, what, what what those people eat seriously what is the food exactly you eat huh if you can't tell us the recipe if you're not there in public it's okay you know you can tell us in the secretly you know I mean you do something you know you do the trick can you do the trick or you cannot do the trick okay let's see <clears throat> Uh, so the prophet was caught. See, see, look, look. Allah SWT. Do you see it? You just said that the SWT mean Allah. Sorry, it mean, it mean the, the, the blessing of God on him. So when you say Allah SWT, I will go with you. And you say Allah SWT, and, and SWT according to you is Allah blessing Allah. There's a God blessing Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much camera you're in. I mean, what, what's, what's wrong with those people? What's wrong with those people? Not only you are drinking camera urine, as the prophet said, you are drinking cheated camera urine. Allah knows what they put inside it. What's wrong with you? How you say that SAWT mean God blessing on him and you add the SWT after the word Allah? Read it. Huh? This is your word. What kind of nonsense you are saying? SAW means God bless him and his family. Okay. Bless who? Okay. So Allah SAWT. <laughs> let it go let it go in China they say he left as a donkey and never come back as a horse and you know what does that mean so here you see when the Muslim they speak about Muhammad the fornicator you see 
Do you remember the guy with his name as, as, as a, a, a Rafi Zechariah? What his name? The, he had sex scandal. The Muslim made videos. You know, uh, you know, he had sex with the uh, with the women. Uh, she did massage for him. Uh, look who's talking. What he did is a shame because this is against the teaching of Christ. But according to your religion, adultery is something to be proud about. It. Look, you are making videos. Is speaking about your prophet having many many wives and yet you are talking openly loudly proud about it that the prophet used to sleep with the maid the wife she leave we sleep with the maid so this guy who did sex scandal Zechariah Christians they you know, I don't know really if he did it or not. That's what they say. I cannot speak against a dead man. But if he did, we spit at what he did. That is not the teaching of Christ. He's a fake man. But you're a prophet is the one who made sex out of marriage a great thing to practice. If you ask the Muslims, Muhammad, he have 13 wives. Why he need all those women around him to sleep with them too? When the Muslims, they say, we Muslims, we need four wives so the man can be satisfied. Look how stupid what they are saying. Most of Muslim men, they can't even have sex for half. For, they are, you know, like uh, once, uh, once when I was in, in Asia, a woman, she came to me. She said, uh, uh, are you an Arab? I said, why? She said, we like Arab customers. I said, what customers? <laughs> I said, what, what customers? She said, you know. I said, uh, I don't know. And uh, what, like, what do you do exactly? She said, you know, you know, you know. I said, okay, why you like Arab customers? She said, because they finish so fast. <laughs> A rabbit in two seconds. Okay, so the prophet now, he has 13 wives. Why he is sleeping with more women? If 13 women, they cannot give you what you need, who is going to give you what you need? And why the Muslim men, they can have only four and the Prophet have unlimited numbers of wives? And is wives, is something Islam mean, a woman you can sleep with, or obviously Muhammad, you can sleep with anyone? Do you see it? Why Muhammad is sleeping with a slave? You tell me. In the hadith, there's a hadith where, where Aisha, <clears throat> adultery is zina allowed in Islam? Sure, it's allowed. Let me show you. Here we go. House of Saudi, why you don't call me, my friend? We will have a nice conversation, me and you. Actually, I will make you an admin if you call me. I promise. What do you think? I'm trying to tempt him, okay? <laughs> zina is halal in Islam? Yes, here we go. Did you stone your prophet for having sex with Mary the Copt and she is not his wife? I'm waiting for your answer. Did you whip him? Did you stone him? Did you beat him? Did you put him in jail? Did you rebuke him? No. Actually, Allah, he made a verse for you saying, for him saying why you forbid the women Allah he made her lawful for you I'm waiting for your answer isn't it chapter of a tahreem verse number one is about this Allah here we go this is a tahreem verse number one oh prophet how you do ban yourself that Allah he made lawful for you mm -hmm. seeking to please your wives Okay, question, where Allah he made it lawful for him? This is zina. Sex out of marriage is zina. You do not need to be a genius to know. All right, let us see, are we back? Because I lost connection for like maybe a few seconds. Am I heard, guys? <clears throat> I hope so. So, the Prophet, why do you ban yourself that Allah He made lawful for you to make your wife happy, huh? You do that? 
And then the Muslims, they start lying. They say the Prophet, he ate honey. And the women, they don't like his smell. Yeah, Muhammad, you stink. I agree. But not from that. I mean, imagine, guys. Imagine the fabrication when the Muslims, they try to defend their Prophet. They say, this is about honey. But Yasser Qadi, he got them busted. He said, what does this have to do with honey? This is about Muhammad having sex with Mary the cook. So marrying more than one wife, okay, you see, you're stupid. Did he marry her? <laughs> House of Saudi, I mean, your name is a treasure. It's a certification of intelligent. I mean, I'm not wondering why you, your answer is coming very funny and silly. Are you saying Marine is Zina? He did not marry her. What's wrong with you? Did he? And in Islam, yes, it's a zina. Because Muslim don't marry. You have a contract for sex. Even your prophet, he made a new contract. It's called muta. Muta. And what muta mean? You rent the women. I mean, it is very funny when the Muslim, they speak about sex scandals. When they are following the most perverted man ever in history from sex with the children to kidnapping women or rape them he even slept with women dead women in the grave they asked the prophet what are you doing we never saw such a thing before he said oh uh so the the squeeze of the grave will be less on her what? if the prophet he sleep with the women and she is naked in the grave that will make the grave not to squeeze her? Are you sure? Uh, if the Prophet now is exist, how many women Muhammad he will be? How many dead women they will request him? Like before they, they die in their will, they will say, we pay the Prophet like a million dollars to sleep with us in the grave. <laughs> uh, why the Prophet he step with the women, dead women in the grave? Even dead women in the grave. I mean, what is left? Children, dead women. His own son, wife. The maid. What, what's wrong with this guy? And then we find that Muhammad himself is saying that he was the most weak person in sexual intercourse. And then Allah, he sent him a disc of sis kebab. Like, what the heck? Isn't it his, uh, uh, Maria, his right hand possession? No. You see, Malakatul Yameen is women who you capture them from war. Slaves are not considered from those. You can go right now and search on Google. Malakatul Yameen is something you took by your right hand. That's why it's called Yameen, which means by war. All right, so he took them by war, so he is allowed to read them. And this is even allowed to the Muslims too, all the Muslims. Mary, she is not his wife, and she was not captured by war. She was a gift from the ruler of Egypt. He sent her with a bunch of cousins of her to Muhammad, and he was raping them all. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, you can, you know, you can search right now. Okay. Let us show you. So the Prophet, he was honored by Allah. Let me see if I can find the hadith in English. Give me a second. But we don't know. <clears throat> this is translated. Ah, no. Okay, hold on. Let me just find it in different place. Oh boy. <clears throat> We have to use Google Translation. 
All right, this is the book of Majma'u al-Zawaid, Wamanba'u al-Fawaid, volume number nine, page number 257, hadith number 15400. And I will give you the link for it after I read it. It says here, لما ماتت فاطمة أم علي ابن أبي طالب فاطمة the mother of Ali she died the prophet he took off uh, his clothing his shirt and he put it in the top of her you know when the women she die or a man they took off their clothes totally and they wash them and uh, you know usually they cover them by a sheet or you know a clothes of somebody he is close to them supposedly so he cover her by his sheet and then we says and he stepped with her in the grave and when they put in the top of her that's the soil or the sand they said to him we never saw such a thing you did something nobody did before remember carefully the Arab they said you did something you no one did before you he said I closed her with my clothing or my shirt so she would wear the clothes of heaven and I step with her in her grave to make the squeeze of the or the pressure of the grave better for her and this is the hadith will be translated for you in your eyes in front of your eyes translate to English All right. When Fatima, the mother of Ali Abu Talib, she died, okay, uh, he took off his shirt and he put it in her and he lay down with her in the grave. This is Google translation, not too much perfect, but it's doing the job. And then they said to him, <clears throat> Why you did such a thing nobody did before you? You know? Why you did such a thing? This is something nobody did before you. He said, I did lay, you know, I closed her with my clothes so she would wear the clothes of paradise. And I lay down with her in, in her grave to temper the pressure of the tomb, as it says here in translation, to make it easy. You know, mentally ill. Mentally ill, mentally sick. And this is even against the Quran because Muhammad, he says, if you intercede to them or you don't intercede, <clears throat> the intercession is not accepted even Muhammad he tried to intercede to his own mother his intercession was refused supposedly so how Muhammad he come where uh, did Allah told him this did Allah told him this idea if you take off your clothes or this is a fabrication of Muhammad Let me give you the link so you can save it in your reference if you want. Uh, all those verses <clears throat> chapter 2 verse number 48 chapter 2 one, 130 it says you know nobody can uh, give you an intercession and different verses except what Allah he, go, he gave you but in many verses says no one intercession will be accepted contradiction if you search for the topic intercession in Islam you will you will go crazy you see how stupid this version is it's only for Allah intercession nobody can intercede for you nobody so how Muhammad is and she is a kafir they are not going to go to heaven anyway. So why he is going? What, what does that mean? Now we go back to our topic. So the prophet was caught red-handed having sex with Mary the Copt. The prophet, as usual, after he promised his wives that he will not have sex with those women, slaves. He miss sex with them. 
And as always, Muhammad, he make a verse to make it lawful for him. The women, they are upset because he's sleeping with those slaves. Muhammad, he made it easy. Allah told me, as usual. And as long as Allah said so, can the wives complain ever? Again? Anytime Muhammad, he want to make himself unquestionable by anyone, even by family members. He make a verse claiming it's coming from God. Claiming that God, he gave him authority to sleep with those women. So here you see Allah saying to Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, obviously Muhammad is the one who made this verse. Why you are forbidding what Allah made lawful for you? And here you notice this story here contain many issues. Number one, the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad never did mistake against the religion. Correct? They say to you, Muhammad is a human. He can do mistakes which is not against God teaching. No, he did. The verse in the front of us here says it clearly. The first, the Quran says it clearly that he is a sinner, and Allah is saying, May Allah forgive your sin for the past and the one to come. But here it says it clearly that Allah is saying to Muhammad, How you forbid something I did not allow you to forbid? Muslims, if Muhammad is the one who is obeying Allah and he don't do anything except by Allah order, how this happen? Any Muslim? How the Prophet he forbid what is not forbidden? That was a mistake. So you forbid what God he allowed. Okay, where Allah he allowed it? Show me. Just to show you the stupidity again. Show me the verse where Allah he says to Muhammad, you can have sex with your maid. A slave, she is not a slave of war. Can you show me? So here, Allah correcting him according to what? How you forbid what Allah made lawful for you? Where Allah he made it lawful for you? If we go to different verse in the Quran, we will find this. <coughs> Let us go here. Chapter 33, verse number 50. All of this is all about the option of Muhammad to have sex. Imagine God, God, the one who created the seven galaxies and the seven midget and the seven cartoon and Mickey Mouse and all that. This is Allah, you know. So, O Prophet of Allah, Verily, we have made love for you, your wives. Look, look at this idiot. I mean, don't you think Allah, he is too late? The guy, so Muhammad, he married all those wives without permission from Allah yet? So after he had sex with them, a hundred of boom, boom. Now Allah decided to tell him, it is lawful for you to have sex with the wives? I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid religion? Uh, Muhammad? Uh, we just receive a fax from Allah uh, 13 years after you start having sex with your wives saying it's uh, Allah he allow you to have sex with your wives <laughs> the guy already having sex with them long time ago and now you are telling him I made it lovely for you if we go Zach and Nag and we ask him how this happened or what you Griffin Prince first of all the prophet he was getting permission from before okay what is the permission First of all, there is something called visible and invisible. What? Visible and invisible. Uh, okay. What does that mean? I will explain to you. Allah he spoke to Muhammad invisibly. Okay, what he said to him? He said nothing. What? But you just said he spoke to him invisible. Invisible invis what? Invisibly. Listen, friends. First, your English is stupid. And your Arabic is more funny. I don't know what I'm talking about. So Allah spoke to him in an invisible way. Okay, what he said? He said nothing. You said to me, he said nothing, right? 
Christian Prince. Allah, he spoke nothing to Allah Prophet because simply Allah don't want to speak. Okay, but so where is the where it's made lawful for him? Muhammad having sex with the wives all those years without permission from Allah. And now Allah, after have all those, the house, the, he have 13 houses full of women, not only the, the, the wives, the slaves, and he's sleeping with all of them. Now Allah decided to send them a permission. Like, do you Muslim eat before the permission or after you finish eating, you get the permission? And then the story continue. And whom you paid her mahar? <clears throat> okay, hold on. Muhammad he did not pay mahar for many women. <laughs> and, uh, 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 okay. <laughs> and those captives and our slaves, look at the lie here. It says, and those captives or slaves. It doesn't say that. It's only the captives. Malakatul Yameen is the slaves of war. If you change the translator, you will find the translation change. Everything change. Stupid cult. Read carefully. Those whom your right hand possess out of the prison of war, who Allah assigned to you, you see, to thee. But Mary the Kupchi is not a prisoner of war. She was a gift from the king of, of uh, 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 the ruler of uh, Egypt. So he have no right to sleep with her. But who care? Muhammad, he make a law. That's it. Allah, he said to him, uh, Allah told me why you are forbidden this. Allah made it lawful for you. So I find it very uh, hilarious when Muslim they speak about sex scandals of somebody when they are following the most perverted sex maniac prophet even his heaven is nothing but porn your penis will be endless your wife ass will be one mile which is a small by the way I mean come on let us face it we like big screen TV so but you know there's something here I mean something really stupid so the wife in heaven she will be 30 mile tall and her ass is one mile but according to the reference she will be 90 centimeter wide okay solve this problem for me how she is 90 centimeter wide and then her ass is one mile <clears throat> should I use my art now you know me I'm good in art you know let, let, let us do this so your wife she will be the Muslim man who will be 90 mile. He will be 90 mile tall. And, and the same, he will be in a, in a, a 90 centimeter wide. In the, in, the, in the length of an arm. Okay, like a tree. But 90 mile tree, I mean, hello? Okay. So the man or the woman, so this is, let us say, this is 30 mile. This is your wife in heaven now. And then she go, let us say this is 20 mile, okay, 20 mile. And now suddenly her ass, oof, 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 oof. And now she continue, this is her legs, you know, go down. And what is that? So the woman, she is one arm wide and her ass is one mile? How she can walk? What if she farted? By the way, if anyone want to be my enemy, I'm, I'm making a, a threat. I will order my beautiful wives in heaven to bend over and fart at you. They will blow you to the other galaxy. I mean, can you imagine one mile fart? How much gas is that? And by the way, don't smoke <laughs> because fart is a flammable. What this religion is about? 
And then the man penis is in this penis. And then the man he do dahman dahman, which means he hit so hard. What and and they speak about sex scandal. When their heaven, their earth, their religion is nothing but sex, the word nikah is their god. Most them don't worship God, they worship their penises. They pray for Allah what? To get this. And then Muhammad, he go extreme with his racism. You know, Muhammad is a racist person. The same as the rest of the Arab. You know, I know my people. They are obsessed with white women. So Muhammad, he go with his obsession so far and he say, that women in heaven, they will be so white to the point you will see the marrow of their bones. Can you imagine having women, you can see the marrow of their bones? And this is God, the promise, and this is Sahih Bukhari, so don't tell me it's weak, you know the garbage. This is a Christian prince, you saw you weak hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari, eh, what we will do now? What the prophet? They will be transparent, brother. The Huris, brother. They are so beautiful, pure, transparent. Let us be honest here. How many of us we like to have a woman transparent? So if she took your credit card and she tried to hide it in her bra, you can see it. I mean, come on, let us be real here. How many of you, your wife, she took your credit card and she bought some shoes with it without telling you? And how many times you wish that you can get her busted? And she go home, she say, oh, it's not me. Somebody stole the credit card. Obviously, hello. Otherwise, where is my shoes? Huh? Where is my shoes? She put them in her maybe sister house. When they go out, they extend them there, their brother. You can see the marrow of their bones. Look, why? The bony prophet, the bony religion. I mean, what do you think? We are a bunch of puppies who they are obsessed with bones. Is that supposedly sexy and you know it? <clears throat> so you go to heaven, brother. And now your dream come true. The virgin you are waiting for, they are there. Look, see the stars, brother? Let, let us make it for you in a stasis. Okay? We will make it for you in a stasis. So now uh, you are going to heaven. Okay, and then brother, you like you see first the stars and the space and you know, very beautiful thing. I forgot first you take an airplane, you know, so like you fly, Allah will send you a mule, a donkey, like the prophet. What happened to him? He sent him a donkey, and then you go up, you go up, you go up, you go up, and then suddenly you see, start seeing the stars, and then you go to heaven, brother, and then what do you see in heaven? You will not believe it, brother. Something so beautiful. This is your beautiful wife waiting for you. Uh, I excuse the position. This is a prophet of God making a promise about heaven. This is heaven. If this is heaven, what is a cartoon? We can see the marrow of her bones. So this man, Islam is a 100% sexual filthy cult religion there's nothing there except sex 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 in the top of that it's a perverted and it is white supremacist anyone will enter heaven of Allah have to be white and Allah will make you so white to the point even the women he promised you to have there they are so white Muhammad here is talking about how white they are by the way when a person is very white, you can see the veins under his skin. So Muhammad is seducing the Arab men, saying, you will have a very white, transparent women, and they are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. And we have to be honest. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I mean, if you are a Hindu, I feel sorry for you because you don't have this. If you are a Buddha, you don't have this. If you are a Christian, you have zero. There is no women I mean, like this, you know. Jesus said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. In Islam, brother, Islam, 
I don't know. I feel like I want to cry. I, I heard the Adhan. I felt I crying. They put in YouTube video. A Catholic, he heard the Adhan for the first time. <laughs> He's saying you will get virgin and they are transparent. And their ass will be one mile. <laughs> I heard the, you know, that fake videos, you know, to get publicity and get uh, the like of the Muslims so their channels can grow. Actually, it is. I don't. I, I cannot show you all the pictures because some of them they are case sensitive. Unbelievable! I should not put this picture. A lot of people now will convert to Islam. Men. A lot of men. They will. Uh, this is this is un, unresistible. I mean, we have to be. We have to be honest. Can we deny that this is so beautiful? And how does God he think about our desire as men? He knew that you like white women. So he used a bleach. I think the one who discovered Clorox first time, it was Allah. He put those women in Clorox and all the color is gone. And then he, you know, he hanged them up like to dry. And then this is what we get. This is religion. This is a religion. If this is a religion, stupidity is what? And this is why I cannot, I cannot really, I don't want to get married because I'm waiting for this beauty. I want to find it like this. Look at this. Look at this, man. I mean, look at this. Ew. She's laying down in the bed and you see her bones. And even you see her poo-poo. <laughs> I mean, let us face it all together. You cannot beat this. And this is why the suicide bomber, the fifth, you attack a church in Indonesia, you want to get those. Why? How they convince him to die? How this is stupid idiot who just took a motorcycle and he explored himself in front of a church because they told him, brother, don't you want to get the virgin, brother? And the horny Abdul, he said, yes, yes, where? Okay, give me the motorcycle. I want to go right now. Yeah, this is what they want to die. They, don't, they are not dying for the sake of their God. They are dying for the stupid penis. This is 100% stupid penis religion. Nothing about it about God. You see, if God is important in this religion, all those promises will not be exist. Why God he need to tempt me by a billy, food, wine, and a penis and a vagina if he is God? This is what Satan does. The funny they say to you that we worship God, but obviously God cannot be God. God don't tempt you by such a thing. God, he says to you, be holy like your father. It's a project to work in. God, he says you will be like an angel in heaven. He free you from your needs. This is the best happiness. You are free. You are living a free, happy. You are not stressed, you are not hungry, you are not horny, but yet you are happy, very happy, a happiness you cannot reach by your physical being body. Muhammad, he focus in your desire as a human being to tempt you so you go, go and fight and die for him. And I have a request for all the people who are listening. Please play my videos in the front of your children. I mean, children doesn't mean like they are six years old. Children mean children. So they can be even 18. You know, share with them so no false teaching will come to them and they will be deceived because most of them they make millions of videos trying to deceive them. Starting from scientific miracle in the Quran, which is absolutely false and a lie. A question was given just to show you how Islam work. A question was given to Dr. Shabir Ali. 
Why do Muslims play, claim Satan? Why Muslims claim Satan? I ask the same question. How you Muslim claim Satan? For anything. When Allah is Satan, and we can prove it easy. Listen carefully to the question and the answer. The question is, why do Muslims blame Satan rather than God when something bad happens to them, <coughs> or when they do something bad? <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, this has come up in the story of uh, the prophet Job. Mm -hmm. um, Muslim commentators um, cite the fact that the Quran says that uh, Job uh, complains to God that Satan has touched me with, um, with some punishment. Um, so the Imam Razi, for example, in his commentary says, well, this is just the way in which people speak. It doesn't mean that Satan actually afflicted Job. Uh, and, and more generally, Look at this. Look at this. So how come the Quran says that when Muhammad receives satanic verses, Allah will take away the verses which shaitan he gave to Muhammad? Isn't it this is afflicted? I mean, do you see the stupidity? I mean, though those people don't even use their brain when they, they, they grow a beard. Their beard is not even good to work as a broom to clean the floor. Muhammad, he receives satanic verses. Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide. Muhammad, he committed sin. The Quran says, Muhammad, he committed sin. And Allah says, may Allah forgive your sin. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He asked other God to forgive the sin of his prophet. So if you are saying that we cannot blame Satan, according to Islam, I agree, you cannot, for Satan is Allah. But to say in that prophet they were not inflicted by what you claim to be Satan, which is, is Allah, and we will prove it. Look at this verse. Chapter 48, verse number 2. And this is about Muhammad. That Allah may, may forgive the fault. Look at the false translation. The fault. They don't dare to say the word correctly. They say fault. Because how I can say Muhammad have a sin? If you change the translator, this is Yusuf Ali. Go to different translator, you will find right away that the word fault became sin. See who corrupt their religion? Muslims. There's a huge difference between fault and sin. Fault, I broke something by mistake. That's not sin. Sin is sin, it's something you do against the will of God. Fault has nothing to do with that. Very simple. This is why it's a different word. So when the Quran says that may Allah forgive your sin, the question is, who is the one is talking? They will say to you, Allah. Okay, if Allah is talking, why is saying may Allah forgive your sin? If Allah is one God. Is Allah speaking to different Allah? We will leave that answer for the Muslims. And for sure, they will give you all of the funny examples. Allah, he speak as a third person. Hold on. So Allah who speak as a third person. Why he say me? Allah making a wish to who? Huh? When Allah, he say that Allah me. Me. It's a, this is a prayer. Allah praying to who? If I say to you, may God forgive you, I am praying to God to forgive you. Very simple. And the word may present is not in my hand control to be forgiven. It's just a wish I can make for you. So when Allah, he say, may Allah forgive you. Allah wishing forgiven to Muhammad by other God. That doesn't make sense. If you Muslim believe that Allah is one God. So how Allah say, may Allah. And when Shabir Ali is speaking about uh, prophets are not afflicted by Satan, so Shabir Ali, when Muhammad he commits sin, was that from Satan or from God? According to you, from God. Thank you very much. And that is proving my point that Allah is Shaitan. Let us continue with Shabir Ali. Uh, this verse does not refer to a prophet Muhammad. Are you sure, Abdul? Guys, those, those geniuses, I don't know what... Hold on, let me take a copy for you. Guys, let me show you how... 
when I say those, those are not really Muslim, they don't know really, really. I never saw a Muslim, he knew what he's talking about. All of them, they are made in China. Yeah, read carefully. House of Saudi. When House of Saudi he speak, everybody go mute, please. The genius is talking. Christian Brands, you are so stupid. This verse does not refer to Muhammad. It refers to multiple people, Muslims. Read the context, idiot. What if I show you in front of everybody that it referred to Muhammad, what you would do? <laughs> Let us change the translator. <laughs> I do not even need to go to the interpretation. I just change the translator. You will see the name Muhammad appear there. Let us see. Uh, this is Biktal. <laughs> This is Muhammad Said. Okay, hold on, let's see. We have uh, we have to change the translator to find, but we can go to the interpretation too, and then people will see. Okay, hold on. Uh, Sahih International, let's see Sahih International. Uh, Sahih International then say Muhammad, let's see. Okay, uh, Biktal, let's see Biktal. Uh, doesn't say too. You yeah, have to change the translator until you get the, the one getting him busted. <clears throat> okay. Um, Shakir. I'm not sure which translator will say to you, but we can go to the interpretation. Can we? We got Nader. Who is Nader? Ah, this is a stupid kid. This is the guy who said that he's a prophet, have sex with the goat. And he said to me, it's better than your God who said to smash the head of the baby. <laughs> and then the Muslim, they start making an article about him. Now that, now that he spoke to Christian Prince, did you hear what he said? He said he agreed that the prophet have sex with the goat. <laughs> So if we go to the interpretation, this is chapter 48, verse number 2. 48, <coughs> verse number 2. <coughs> Remember that Abdul, he said that I am stupid. This verse is not about Muhammad. Right? Okay. Let us see. And we will show you a theater. We will show you whatever, you know. Okay. Does it speak about the Prophet or not? Nader Ahmed, you can, if you want to call me, you can call me right in Pal Talk so we can laugh at you. This guy, by the way, he is uh, obsessed. He seeks attention. He's just a kid. He is just, I mean, he's a low class person. He don't even have high school. He don't know what he's talking about. And like, even imagine he called people, he claimed to be someone else. I want to debate you. And then we go, they find that, that it's not that. <laughs> hey, Nader, you want to call me? So we just, we, just for a laugh. Do you want to call me? Don't tell me you don't have Pal Talk. Last time we spoke many years ago, it was Pal Talk. So I will open my Pal Talk so we can laugh. What do you think? Well, let us see who's running from who. Okay, I will open my pal talk right now. Is that fair, guys? I will open my pal talk right now. <clears throat> and you cannot say I don't have pal talk because this is how we spoke first time ever. Ah, call me right now. And everybody will die laughing at you. <coughs> All right. I'm opening my pal talk. Here we go. We are in. Let us see. <sighs> uh, 
and let me search for your name. Can you give me your name in Paltalk? I will text you. Uh, come on, you cannot be uh, another Ahmed then. You're a potato then. Because this guy, I mean, the guy he talked, I mean, he used to go to my room and he would spank him every day. And now give me your Paltalk ID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think this is him. Let us search. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, I found a guy. His name is Nadir Ahmad. All right, here we go. I'm going to text you. It says you are offline. Text me back. Well, I just texted him. He can say whatever he want. Hmm? Here we go. This is Nadir Ahmad. It says he is offline. All right. And this is my text. See it? Hmm. Let us see the hero. We will wait for you. Potato. So this verse, it is about Muhammad, and when they try to fabricate an answer, say it is not, we, we laugh. It is just about Muhammad. <clears throat> if we go here, let us see. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. It says clearly that the honorable surah was revealed after message of Allah. He returned, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it's speaking about Muhammad. As you see, may Allah forgive your sin for you. I'm waiting for you, Nadir. I'm, don't waste my time. It doesn't take two seconds to log in Pato. <clears throat> this guy, he do not need to run from anyone. This guy, he do not know anything. This guy is not even a Muslim. This guy is a kid. I, I'm, I'm just allowing him to call me now because he, like, he's just, I mean, he's just a silly kid. Uh, if you saw his email, he wanna, he wanna beat the guy. He wanna, he play karate and. <laughs> All Muhammad and they play karaoke. All of them they are Bruce Lee. I am going to beat you. I challenge you to meet me there, okay? I'm going to come and break your bones. Yeah, what a bunch of kids. But anyway, this is the guy who agreed that his prophet have sex with the goat. What do you want more than this? And then the Muslim, they start torturing him for saying that. All of them are the same. Us Osama Abdullah, he said to me that it's proven that magic is, is, a, is, a, is a lie. I said, what? He said, magic is a lie. I said, but the Quran says that. <laughs> and the Muslim made an article about him too. I mean, anyone who come to speak to me, the Muslims, they torture him. Uh, you publish English version of the Quran with a, uh, accurate translation. Yeah, I would do that. Uh, Sunni. Uh, I'm working on that, actually. I'm working on that since actually a long time ago. But because it's taking too much time and I'm not giving it enough time to finish it, you know, I need to take a break from YouTube so I can finish my book or the translation. <clears throat> Nadir, where are you, man? Are you there? Until now, I received no hello back from Nadir Ahmed. He's a kid, you know, he, he, he's like a bug, you know, like, I will it challenge you, I challenge you, I say, another, come on, don't, don't, don't touch my shoes, I will it challenge you, I, 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 I are running away from me, uh, 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 another, G, leave my shoes alone, uh, what Skype, you coward, where is, what Skype, go to Palto, get out of here, get out of here, just a kid, stupid kid, see, he made me go to Palto, and now he don't want to go. And all his life is he's in Paltok. Suddenly he don't want to go in Paltok. Yeah. Uh, admin, just to black him. We don't have time for kids. 
And what I want from you more after you agree that your prophet have sex with the goat. Hello? I mean, you are priceless. You are the best. Forget about the rest. Oh, actually, he's here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let us call him. <coughs> hey, Nader Ahmed. How are you? Hello. Well, hello, CP. How have you been doing? After all these years, we finally meet. This is very good. I get a chance to meet you. How have you been doing? Thank you. I'm very fine. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so, you know, uh, we've been having these wonderful debates on the Bible, Quran, and modern science. Mostly Quran and modern science. What, and what, Quran, I have a few Quran challenges. And Quran and science? Absolutely. We've been having these discussions and debates. And I have said Christian has been running away from this debate series because he knows that the Quran is in complete harmony with modern science. Okay. And there's... Okay, okay. 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 Give, us one. give us one. Give us one. Let, let us not to waste time, me and you. So for some reason your voice is cutting. Well, Let us give, give me one. Give you me need one to answer. Record. Give me one miracle. Okay, listen. You have to. Why were you running away from me from this debate? My People said no, no, no. See who is Don't make excuses. We are here. Let us see who is running. Give me a miracle. Let us laugh. Uh, well, here's what I would like to do, uh, Christian friends. I would like for us to have a public debate on this topic. Uh, in which... uh, Abdul, do you want to debate me or talk to me right uh, now? Until we have that happen, give me the miracle. Everybody will laugh okay. at you. You are you are playing like a kid. You call me, we you are... claim, you claim you can debate me. Here we go. We can do it right now. Why next year? Why next century? Do it right now. Otherwise, you are just a kid wasting my time. So I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, please. Don't let us speak like a dog. <laughs> Are you going to debate me right now, okay, or you will never do it? Well, well, first of all, I will give you want me to give you a scientific miracle right now. I can okay. do that, mm -hmm. but I think you should first answer why you are running away from me. Well, answer that to the people. Because the one is running. I'm saying to you, let's do it right now. You said no. It's you who's running. Do okay. it. Go ahead. What I <laughs> let's do let's do ten minutes right now. There is no I can hear you. Will be one. Talk. It's a crossfire debate. Everybody will hear us. It's a conversation. Go ahead. Okay. Here's the problem. If we don't have set rules with time limits, friend, things like that, then we're just going to be. It's a free. It's a, it's a free. If it's a free boxing match. Show me. Aren't you the one who speak? You speak. You know. You play karate and you are good in boxing. Do your boxing. Free boxing match. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Christian Prince. Okay. The Don't problem here is what I stop. Stop making excuses. The rules go for both of us. It's a free, free, free. Say whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Go ahead. But, but I have a very good excuse. My excuse no, from running no from you excuse. is this. You are a coward. Okay, let me give you. are wasting our time. Are you going ah. to debate me or not? Okay, what what I cannot do, Christian Prince, is Are win a shouting match. Are you now or not? Howard on the run. Okay, so we're going to talk about one scientific miracle, and then you're going to agree to debate me later on. Okay, so uh, I, let's do I'm, 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 I am agreeing to debate you anytime. Here we go. I'm here with you. Go ahead. Uh, CP, we need a format. We need equal time, and we need to don't, share. Don't call me again. You are just a kid. You don't dare even to talk to me. We need a format. What format? Be a man. You, call, you, you are the one who said you want to debate me. You, you keep saying I'm running from you. You are just a kid. You are not even equal to my shoe. You don't even know how to say your prophet name correctly. If I call you right now and I ask you to say your prophet name correctly, do you do? Do you know how to say it? You don't. And you are the one who agree your prophet have sex with the goat. What more I want from you? So either you want to do it now. Don't waste my time. I will call you one more time. Either we do debate now. Don't put rules. No rule for you. No rule for me. Speak as much as you want. Get me busted. Go ahead. Let me call you. <coughs> hey. So That hurt my feeling. Do you accept or not? Yes, let's do a debate because I know you'll run away like a coward. So let's just do so, what you want. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, rather, rather. Let, let, be, be a man once in your life and talk. Go ahead. Speak as an adult. Go ahead. Okay. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. 
Yes, so we're going to do one scientific miracle okay. proves that the are on with the truth and you are actually following a demon called Christ. So both the Bible and the Quran actually answers a question on the issue of alcohol. Now, what's very interesting here, there was a study done, I don't have my hmm. desktop, which is shared, where I'll show you that study, hmm. but in this study, it showed hmm. that, the, that the Quran actually... Muslim, because of the teachings of the Quran, the Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give a, a baby, uh, I'm sorry, to give birth to a baby who has fetal alcohol syndrome. The study said you got to go to the Christians because of the influence of the Bible. So the question tonight, which Christian Prince needs to answer here, hmm. is, okay, so the book of the Quran and the Bible, they gave an answer to this question of alcohol. And when we look at the Quranic answer, it is a far superior what answer. Is the, what is the Quran answer? I know you will not give me the verse from the Quran, remember. <clears throat> we are talking about chapter what? Well, sorry, you, chapter what? What did you say? What chapter? Chapter 5, verse 9. What chapter? Chapter 5, verse 9. Chapter yeah, chapter 5, five verse 90. Chapter 5, verse, verse 90. 90. Okay, tell me about it. Go ahead. Now we know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay, and then I'll tell you about it, but I'm following the rules because I'm, I know you you will not run away from me and we'll debate on this topic. So that's the agreement here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the verse in chapter 5, verse 90. Okay. It says, forbidden food is uh, alcohol, any kind of intoxicant, mm -hmm. gambling. Okay. So from the study here, they pointed out that, this, that Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give birth to a fetal alcohol because of the teachings of the Quran. Now, the question is here, which you need to answer is, how is it that the Quran but, gave a better where, where, response? Where is speaking about the, the, the alcohol is bad, where it says that? No, it says, for you, forbidden is yeah. alcohol, any kind of intoxicants. But where it says, and, where it says, and it's, because bad for, of that, where it says it's bad for your health in the verse you quote for me. That is bad for your health. No, it is completely forbidden for Muslims. This is clear. Okay. And from uh, the study fact, again. I, uh, another, another, another. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm asking you a very simple question. You say that this is about health. I'm asking you, why in the verse never say anything about health? It says this is from shaitan. That's all. Because it's from shaitan, don't do it, correct? Yes, this is from shaitan. And so because as the study concluded, it is the teachings of the Quran. Hmm. which caused Muslim women to abstain from alcohol. And so the question from again is that how did how could Allah of the Quran provide a better response okay. than Jesus of the Bible on the question of alcohol? That's a question you need to answer okay. now. Well, okay. And so on, this clear let, let us make it clear. I'm just trying to get a full sentence from you. So are you saying the Quran confirmed that alcohol is bad no matter what? The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, no, it's no, forbidden. It's forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, no matter what, no matter what. But I think these are irrelevant questions no, you're asking. You're running away from the, the study. This is the topic. This is the topic. I want to know if alcohol is bad or it is okay. not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden no. alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't I, understand the question. I, here, so I need you to take no, some time. This is my question. question. This is my question. question. This is my question. question. This is my question, not yours. The Quran forbid alcohol. Is it because yeah. it is bad or because it's good? You're saying okay, so you're saying alcohol is forbidden. I'm not saying, is it I'm because not it's bad or good? You, why you are in trouble? Very simple question. How many times I need to repeat? Listen carefully. The Quran forbid alcohol. That's wonderful. Oh, Does the Quran forbid the alcohol because it is bad or because it's good? So the reasons why the Quran forbade there's actually a reason in the Quran they said there's some good that outweighs the good why that you we look at the, the answer, and why, so why the you issue making, here why you are making a speech I mean the answer is very simple Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or Allah forbid the alcohol because it's good which one choose one I've already given you the answer now no, the, no, the no, issue no, I'm going to read it no, to you no, and you got to no, add I want a clear answer is it bad or good is alcohol is bad or good 
see, see if you, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is a point you are not able to words. answer. I want and one what word. Is it bad or good? You are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness. And now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP. CP, you got to let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me answer. Okay, answer. we're going to have an intelligent... You're making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me, you say, according to science, proving that women, they give birth, and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue with the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want okay, you to go okay, to okay, me. Is, is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word the Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is yes. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, okay. Your question, if I understand your question, you're you're saying that overall alcohol, a good or bad thing, is that your question? You. I mean, this is even your topic, and you don't even dare to answer. You call me saying that because of drinking I, alcohol, women do give birth to children who have defect in their birth. Okay, that's your claim, and you claim this is from science. That's wonderful. Now I'm asking you, based on what you told me, is that mean? And based on the Quran forbidding the alcohol, does that mean according to Allah, alcohol is bad or good? Oh, I think I understand your question. Your your question is, okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for a specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies? Is what? that your question? No, no, what's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't, I, tell me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? Bad, bad. Okay, did answer your question Thank it's you bad finally, but there's a little bit okay, of good in it okay, God, it finally you said it is bad so That's how good. come the quran says it is good here we go this is the chapter 16 verse number 67 you made me lose my voice repeating the same question the quran says that the alcohol is amazing drink is the best it's a miracle of allah read for me the verses <clears throat> Are you finding the verse? I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at your screen. Well, did you want me to respond? Oh, no, I don't want you to respond. You can call a friend. I mean, what's wrong with you? The Quran says, you said to me, it's bad. A second ago, you, uh, you said to me a second ago, the Quran says that the alcohol is bad. Now the Quran saying that alcohol is a great drink. It's even a miracle from Allah. It is a benefit for mankind. And you can change any translation you want. What translation you want to put for you on the screen? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not even looking at your screen. So can I, let me answer that if you, if I may. Uh, okay. And one thing I will require of you, Christian, do not interrupt me in my rebuttal. Because if we're going to have an intelligent debate, we should not be interrupted. even a rebuttal because simply you just say that the alcohol is bad. The Quran is very saying the alcohol is amazing. I mean, can you even make a rebuttal? Yeah. Okay. So, Okay, so let me now respond to you without interruption, because if you interrupt me, this is an act of cowardice, and this is exactly what I'm saying. He can't handle me in this debate, so he's got to sure interrupt me. So let me now sure. go ahead and... We cannot handle you, for sure. Okay. Have, you know, no. For sure, you are like a little bit cat. I mean, I'll answer how the Quran, the same book, saying alcohol is a sign from Allah. It's a great benefit for mankind. And this is amazing product to, to, to use. It's a benefit. You make good deeds from it. You make good money from it. You make good health from it. It is in the top of that. It's a sign from Allah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now you're going to let me speak, or are you going to run away? I'm waiting, for, guys. I'm waiting for your interruption, majesty. Uh, inter I'm waiting for your majesty. Stop complaining yeah. about interruption. You can do interrupt, interrupt me too. We said it's a free form. And I, I, your, I want, your duty, remember your duty here, supposedly you are going to show me your knowledge. And your knowledge is a joke. You are just a kid. You choose a topic, 
You okay. mentioned the topic, you... and now you do not know what to say because your God said alcohol is amazing. How you answer that? Okay, I want everybody to understand when you interrupt somebody, this is an act of cowardice. He's running away because I'm about to put this uh, put the slam uh, dunk on to him. So let me go ahead and answer the question. Mm -hmm. The issue with the Quran actually made it clear in alcohol there is some good. However, the bad. Is the good. So this is a, uh, this is what the Quran and the Quran and the kind of <laughs> that. Just get lost, get lost, stupid idiot. It's a waste of time to talk to you. It says in the front of you, it's a good. You made good from it. You made good nourishment of it. Indeed, you made good nourishment of it. Indeed, if you have sense, indeed you are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Obviously, you do not know your book. It's a waste of time for someone like me. I can put my toes in a chat room and you cannot answer my toes. Who are you? So when you say, I'm going to debate the Christian prince, I want to debate the Christian prince, you're a potato. Let me, yeah, the Quran says there's some benefit. What some benefit? It says, I asked you, is it bad or good? And I repeated the question a hundred times so you can think about it carefully. And then finally I made you say it. It's bad. It's bad. Chapter 16, verse number 67. Allah praise alcohol, claiming that he is the one who made it for us. It's for our benefit. So don't go around. You see, I, I, I just now, I give you like a bite. You know that, you know, you want to bite my shoe? I give you my shoe. But as you see, even my shoe, you cannot even bite it because your mouth is so small. Potato. And if you want to talk about health and birth defect, I never saw birth defect as much in Islamic countries because you marry from your cousin. And the proof of birth defect is you. Look at you. I mean, if you are not the proof of birth defect, who is the proof? Idiot. Shall I call him back again or give him one more chance? <laughs> Why'd you run away? I'm laughing. What happened? I'm I'm, we are laughing. What happened? We, ha we have to take a, we have to we have to take a commercial break because you are a birth defect yourself. So now, are you going okay. to answer or not? Don't 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 make an excuse. Are you going to answer how Allah He says that alcohol is a great product and he, it is a sign from Allah? And then you tell it, you said to me from the beginning that it is from Satan. Is it the other verse? It says from Satan. The verse, you oh, gave Christian me, the verse you gave me, yes, chapter, yeah. chapter 5, isn't it that verse, it says that alcohol is from shaitan? Okay, well, I want to make it clear, you, you hung up on me, you interrupted me, I, and this I, is a clear I, sign I, of power. Everybody, everybody is laughing. Now, listen, 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 this is recorded, everybody will <laughs> laugh at you. So, the verse in chapter, chapter 5, verse number 90, it says that alcohol is from shaitan, correct? It is a handwork of shaitan, correct? Really? It is a handiwork of the devil which is found in your book, right? Nope. Okay, so now how the other verse is saying that it is the work of Allah? It is what? The work of Allah. What? It is the sign from Allah. It's a work of Allah. So chapter 16, verse number 67, it says, It is healthy, it is good, it's a fruit, it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's a good, it's nourishment, and it is a sign from Allah if you have any sense so how it is a sign from okay. Allah and then the other okay. chapter you gave me it says it is the work or the handwork of shaitan which one we should take absolutely and so this is as you can see Christian hmm. Prince is running away from the real question tonight on how is it the Quran could give a better response now what he's showing okay but I can show internal contradiction don't, don't, show internal don't, contradiction. don't change topic don't change topic it's, it's like, you see you know you say I hang up on you don't, don't make me hang up on you because you're a kid you're just a kid literally I'm asking you the, answer, the question is very clear the question is very clear 
Everybody is laughing at you. You are a stupid like your prophet who said that the penis of the man will be endless. And I'm, I assure you are dreaming about that because you have a problem. Now listen, is it is it from God, this alcohol, or it's from shaitan? Okay, so as you can see, he's interrupting me. He's hanging up on me. And this is a sign of this from Christian. Okay, give me, because I'm done with you. You're, done. You're, you're, you're lost. I have nothing to say. I'm just giving you extra time. Just for, you see, listen, listen. Nader Ahmed, you are here for one purpose, entertainment. You are just a joke. You are not a debater. You know nothing. So I'm asking you, the verse in chapter 16, verse, chapter 16, verse number 67, don't make me, repeat, make me repeat myself one million time. It says that alcohol is made by Allah. It's a sign from Allah. It's a miracle of Allah. It's a great, it's amazing. And the other verse, the one you gave me, chapter 5, verse number 90, it says it's the handwork of shaitan. So which one of them is accurate? Okay, so the, one of the, the cowardice of Christian prince, anybody can win a debate by interrupting their opponent, hanging up on them, and, and shoving me. questions. You can, me. Like, you can interrupt me as much as you want. Still, you can't answer. Where's the answer? What is the answer? People don't, don't care for you. You can cry as much as you want. People are listening. Which one is made by? Made by Allah or made by the devil? Is it bad or good? I'm waiting for the answer. I told you this guy is scared to debate me. It, the Quran sure, makes it very sure. clear. Even for sure, for sure, we are scared of you, my friend. So for sure. I mean, there's no, there's no two people that want to debate about it. You know, my friend, everybody's scared of you. You are, you are a crazy person, brother. So now, is Shaitan okay. is the one who made alcohol or Allah? Chapter 16, verse number nine, 67 says it's made by Allah. Chapter 5, right. verse number 90, it says made by Shaitan, and it's bad. So which one of them is accurate? Okay, so the Quran does not state in Surah 16, verse 67, that the that the uh, alcohol was made by Allah. You have lied. Now, do not interrupt me again. Uh, what I want now, I did answer verse. this question, as you can. But I think verse. he's running away. Read, read the verse for us. Read, read, read the verse for us. Read the verse for Allah. Read, 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 the, read, you just read the verse. You said it doesn't say that. Read the verse. Read the verse. I want every. I want it to be clear to everybody. He's running away. He cannot debate read, me. Read the Anybody verse, can read hear. the verse. Let us see who's running away. I mean, we are having a debate. Oh, I'm asking you. Give me the answer. I'll read the verse. Why? Why? You, okay, you are saying something is not there. It's in front of us. Does it say that it's a goodly provision? Okay, let me read for you. This is the Muslim translation. Okay, and a goodly provision. Do you see the word goodly provision? Yes. Okay. It does not say. Okay. okay. It's Anybody it's can win it. Doesn't say what? Doesn't say, doesn't say what? Doesn't say what? Clear. Christian Prince is a coward. Is it clear? He cannot have a fair debate with equal time. He's refusing to do so. What equal it's time? Clear I'll, give to you, all... I'll give you more time than me. I'm, I, I, I will stay mute if you're answering. I'm asking you. Does it say there? About it's, it. You said to me, I asked you, is it a bad? You said, yes, it is bad. Women, they get babies and they have defect. Bad for sure is bad. Okay, the Quran here says, and it's a goodly provision. Verily, there is in and be the sign to four people who would have wisdom. So according to the chapter 16, verse number 67, the one who have wisdom is the one who drink alcohol. Okay. So uh, can I talk or is this just your time to stop, I mean, crying. Well, how stop crying? I'm trying yeah. to explain to you the question so you might answer. You are just trying to, to buy time. You do not know what to say. Go ahead. Yeah, you did lie to people in which you said that you said alcohol is from Allah. We have you on tape. You're changing your statement. Oh, it's just a goodly provision. It means that there's some good in it. So now you just kind of uh, change your original statement. So yeah, you did get busted lying here tonight. Can, can I talk? Can I talk? Okay, you just say it. You just say it. Okay, hold on, guys. I I said this is from Allah. It says that in front of you, you donkey. It says it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a miracle. Or ayat and ayat. You know what I mean? It's a miracle of Allah. Do you see the word sign? Are you a certified donkey like your prophet or you are not? You are. So it says here in the front of you, it's a sign for those who have a wisdom. The signs come from who? From God. Do you Muslim believe that signs come from shaitan? Am 
my, are you going to let me talk without interrupting me? So stop so me, Mr. Why are you all saying we got me busted and this is not from Allah? If the verse in the front of you is saying, the verse in the front of you is saying, this is a sign from Allah. So beer is from Allah. It's a sign. Black label. Brother, and sister, we have Zebra. We have the brother, another um, with us. And by the way, the Muslim, they used to drink and they pray. And even the Quran made the verse about it, praising it. And then because the Arab they start laughing at Muhammad, he said to them, Oh Muslims, Allah told me, don't pray when you are drunk. Chapter 4, verse number 43. Oh, who you believe, don't go to the prayer when you are intoxicated because you are drunk. So Zakir Naik, Nadir Ahmad, all the potatoes in the world, they used to go to the mosque with the Prophet and they fed a pot around him. And the Arab, they start making fun of Muhammad and his followers. What kind of followers they are? Why Allah did not say from the beginning? And in the top of that, Allah, he praised alcohol and he claimed that alcohol is a sign from him. Why he did that? Because the Arab, they love to drink. You're my... Well, there's no point of giving me the mic if you're going to interrupt me every 10 seconds. I mean, this is an act of cowardice on your I'm, part. I'm you're just answering you. I'm just answering you. You made, you made a statement. You made a statement. You said you got me busted. You said you got me busted. The verse doesn't say it's from Allah, so I have to answer. It says in the front of it's a sign from Allah. So do you agree it's a sign from Allah or not? Um, there's, I have never won a shouting match in my life. There's a different... Listen, listen, I, I want to answer. You see, shouting match, this is not shouting match, this is spanking match, you are being spanked. I, I want you to tell me, Coward. does it say, does it say in the verse, a sign from Allah or not? It's pointless, you're just going to interrupt. What's the stop, point of now talking about this? Excuse, it's it's same. Here we go. Uh, it, took me, it took me five minutes repeating my question to, to make you say that alcohol is bad. Repeating my question one million times. And now you are going to do it again. So is it going? Is it saying there that alcohol is a sign from Allah or I'm lying? It, okay, so let it be clear. I'm going to answer your question. Even though you're jerking me around, I'm you're doing, interrupting me. Are you going to answer sign of, is it a sign from Allah? Heart. Is it a sign from Allah or not? You see, I am not anyone you can play with. They are talking to Christian Prince. I hold you from your tail. Okay. I put you in the corner. And it doesn't matter how big the rat is in the front of me. Still, you have no cheese. I'm going to repeat my question. Is it a sign from Allah as the verse saying or I'm lying? No, it does not say it's a sign from Allah. It says it is a sign. Then read the verse. Okay. Then read the verse. Read the verse. It says the word sign there. The sign is There's a difference there. Can I respond? <laughs> Why are you so afraid to debate me, Christian Prince? Please keep in mind when you interrupt people anytime you want. That's not a debate. And that's very okay, good. I'm in the front of everybody. In the front of everybody. Which interpretation you like to put in the screen? Christian Prince. This do, turns stop into playing. It's not everybody laugh at you. You want a Jalalain, you want a Tabari, you want a Mikati. What do you want? I will put them for you and okay. you will get you busted. You're a potato. So I'm asking you for the last time. I'm losing my patience. You're just a kid. Is it a sign Christian. from Allah or a sign from Shaitan? Here it says it's a sign for those who have wisdom. For who? Yes. For the one who have wisdom. So the Quran saying it clearly <laughs> that those who have wisdom, they believe in the sign, which is dream drunk <laughs> can i respond i mean can i talk i don't know you could just interrupt me in four yeah, seconds i know, think I can't that nobody, time. Nobody, nobody you are the best joker ever <laughs> I, I love you man i love you i love you you know god he created a lot of funny things i love i love you for the sake of god because you are the best joker are you going to answer or not you see how many times i need to repeat my answer when the quran is saying it's a sign it's a sign by who who is the one who's giving the sign can I talk? <laughs> Are you only talk, Christian Prince? <laughs> no, no, you no, 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 as that it text did not say it's a sign from Allah. So the text did not say this. Okay, it's from, oh, who? It's from who? It's from who? What? Guys, it's not from Allah. Okay, no, no. Finally, we got an answer. It's it doesn't say it's from Allah. It's from who? 
Okay, Christian Prince, you are scared to debate me. It's very clear. Coward, don't hang so, up. Uh, don't don't run. Don't run, coward. I'm asking you. You say it doesn't say it's a sign from Allah. So are you saying that your God He gave a sign from Shaitan, and He called it wisdom? The text said, "Okay, listen. I'm gonna. I don't want you to interrupt me again, Christian, because it's an act of cowardice. You're scared to debate me. The issue you tonight. Answering. You are not with... answering. You are not answering. So, is it a sign from Allah or a sign from Shaitan? The text doesn't say. But now I'm done with you. Now you, I you want you. No, 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 no. You are not done. We are not. We just started. You donkey. Where are you going? What do you mean you're done with me? Okay. Listen. Is it a sign from Allah or a sign from Shaitan? Prove it to me. <laughs> Whatever you say, you have to bring to me. What interpretation you like us to show to everybody in, in, in listening? Because either you are lying, and this is a sign from Allah, or I am lying, and it's not a sign from Allah. So when we say it's a sign, is it a sign from Allah? You said it doesn't say that, and you said it doesn't, it's, which means it's not. So can you get me busted, Your Majesty, Nader Ahmed, the scholar who have no, you don't have high school. Can you get me busted and show me the interpretation for the verse? Where it says this is not a sign uh, well, from Allah. Where it says this Christian, is not a sign from Allah. Christian friends, mm -hmm. I have to go. I cannot believe you jerking me around. You have to go. Well, mommy is coming. What? You want to change your diaper? Wait. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What happened? No, you are in the corner. You are a potato and you are a coward. You said this. Is, you, you just admitted that oh. Allah is shaitan because the Quran saying this is a sign for those who have wisdom and you deny that those who follow the wisdom, they are following the sign of God. You just deny that this is a sign from God by saying it doesn't say that. So you are a liar and you are a potato. This is the topic you choose. And you don't want to answer because it's very embarrassing. Let us see how many Muslims will, will laugh at you about, about and you are the one who says, who will debate you? Who, who are you? Who are you? You don't know nothing. Here we go. I repeat again. Don't tell me I have to go. Mommy, mommy, she will be upset. She will watch this video and she will be upset from you. Be a man. Be the hero. So Wait, is, it a sign is, from, is it a sign from Allah or it is not? I have to go. I want you to come into a public debate with me on the top. <laughs> this is the kid, Nadir Ahmed, who go around and says he want to debate a Christian prince. <laughs> this is why they don't dare to debate me. The la this guy, last time I spoke to him, it was maybe 12 years ago. And he admit he's a prophet, have sex with the goat. That's why they want to talk about it. He said, so what? <laughs> Christian Prince, he ran away from me, Christian Prince. I mean, come on, this guy, he cannot debate me, you know, and my name is not Dudu. You know, Dudu and Dudu, like Dudu, the Dudu, the Bada Duda, the Duda, and he's a bit potato, you are a donkey. And this is the topic he chose. This is his choice, imagine. If this is his choice, this guy was thinking about it like he's scratching his ass for the last century. If I talk to Christian Prince, I would talk about what I would choose this topic. It's very powerful. It's an amazing topic. He cannot refute me. No. What's wrong with you? You're a potato. I lost my voice talking to you. If there's no proof that you are just, I mean, this guy, he looked like 60 years old. Thank God, otherwise the Muslim, they would claim that I'm talking to a kid. But he's a kid. <clears throat> I invite you to public debate. Are you going to do better in public debate? This is public debate. I mean, how, how public we have? We have 1,400 people watching. I invite you to public debate, okay? So... Public debate where people will, will die laughing at you. People will fill in the chair. People will sue me for dying from heart attack. Last time I had a seminar, people fell in down on the ground. The guy almost he died from laughing. Laughing at your prophet. This is alcohol is bad. And uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but it says it's a handwork of shaitan. And it's bad. So how here Allah praising alcohol? Stupid. I, I, I was nice to him, but he have to go now.
because he's you know he, he saw what happened you know I have to go I have to go I have to go do you let me talk okay I'm repeating the question because you're not talking you are not giving the answer see how they try they claim that they can debate you they change the topic in the speed of light this is why you have to hold them tight don't let them go learn how to debate we don't debate with Abdul we don't we corner them there's no debate there's no debate with liars debate it have to happen between two people have honesty Muslims when they defend Islam they don't defend by honesty they ask him the guy his name is Mimi your God Allah have part he said who said so what do you mean who said so the Quran says so the Hadith says so the scholar they say so who said so and this is the same all of them they are the same all of them they are the same who said so And here we ask the Muslims how the Quran is praising alcohol in one place and making it the hand of shaitan work in different place. Very simple answer for that. In the beginning, Muhammad was trying to tempt the Arab who loved to drink. He said, this is a sign from Allah. It's a good provision for you. Drink as you wish. It's a miracle for those who have wisdom. And then when later when he noticed that people are laughing at his him and his followers because they are a bunch of lousy, lousy, lousy people, drunk people, going to the mosque and they are falling apart. He made a verse, uh, hey brother, sisters, when you go to the mosque, brother, don't pray and you are intoxicated because beer is haram. Actually, he did not say it's haram. He says, it's, it's, don't pray when you are drunk. Okay, how, how in the world they can pray then? Because in order not to be a drunk, you have to give them time. The Muslims, they have to pray five times a day. What time is going to be when you are drunk? They are drunk all the time. And Muhammad himself, he used to teach Muslims how to make alcohol. There's tons of reference about it. Good provision? No, Abdul, it says Sakaran. Second, don't give me your provision for the grape. No, it's not doesn't say grape, my friend. First of all, it says from the grape, from the fruits and the grape, you made alcohol. Stupid. So good provision is not the grape. The good provision is from the alcohol. <laughs> it says, and you make from the fruits and the date and the, the palm date and the grape. You made from them stronger drink of alcohol. And it is a good provision for you. It's a, a sign, a miracle from Allah. And if you go to the interpretation, you will see the interpretation saying, yeah, this is before before Allah, he forbid the alcohol. But how it's a good provision and you make even good money from it. It says, Rizqan, Rizqan, do you know what Rizqan? And he make it Rizqan Hasanan. I don't make interpretation. We can go and read the interpretation, shall we? Oh, Muhammad Saeed, let us let us give you the microphone of Nadir Ahmad. Do you like to call me? <laughs> we offer him to show the interpretation. He refused. Maybe you can do better. Can you? Do you like to call me? Or you are just a potato in the chat? <clears throat> Hmm. And now the Muslim they try to say, oh, this is not about you know alcohol. It says clearly, and you make from it. What do you make from it? You make alcohol. And then right away it says good provision. So what we made from it? Something good. A good provision so 
they can say whatever they want to say. The Quran is a praising alcohol, claiming it's a sign from Allah. Is it the grape sign from Allah? No. It's alcohol who make you go drunk. Anyone? Anyone next? <clears throat> hmm? Uh, if Allah he care for not to have a birth defect for children, then he should forbid you from having sex with your own daughter, as the Quran chapter 25 verse number 54 says. وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَصَبًا وَصِهْرًا We go to the interpretation, it says, it's not forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter and the mother of your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. So the Quran forbid you from having sex with your daughter if she is daughter from marriage, but if she is not, it's okay. If the Quran care not to have birth defect, he should not allow you to marry your first cousin. It's the same blood. So when you speak about people who drink alcohol, there's nowhere in Christianity it says, you go drink as you wish. Jesus said, little bit of it, little. Bless your heart. And according to science, even doctors, they give a medication, drink a little bit of alcohol, a little bit, if you have a heart issue. And you can search it right now on Google. God, he cursed those who do something against his will. He punished them. If people get drunk, this is their business. If people commit sin, this is their business. In Islam, your God, he promised you, we did not even go to the second topic, which is the same topic. If alcohol is bad, how come Allah, he promised you to be in heaven? If alcohol is the handwork of shaitan, then how Allah is going to import alcohol to his heaven? Allah will call shaitan, and will ask him, can I buy some alcohol from you? As you see, it's the handwork of shaitan. But the Quran, he promised that every Muslim he go to the heaven, he will have rivers of the handwork of shaitan, rivers of wine. Not one bottle of wine, which means drink as much as you want. So how it is the handwork of shaitan, yet it's made and it's, it's a, it, it is going to be sent to the heaven. So made by shaitan, bought by Allah. Say you will not be drunk in heaven. So what does that mean? Fake wine? <laughs> guys, guys, look, Muhammad Saeed, he give you the answer. It says you will not be drunk in heaven, brother. What does that mean? Allah will import fake wine? Either it's called wine or it's not. So obviously it's called wine khamr from Tahammara. So it is a wine and it, it is an alcohol. So if you are saying to me that it's an alcohol will not make you drunk, that's mean it's not alcohol. Allah is faking it. He bought it from maybe China. No. Allah will not make you drunk, brother. It's not an excuse. It's a handwork of shaitan. How it is the handwork of shaitan, it is evil. Then in different verse, chapter 7, 16, praising it, and the Muslim, they try to find solution. Like you, he says, oh, he's talking about the grape. It says it clearly, from the grape and in the palm that you made alcohol. And from it, you take a good provision. What is the topic? Is what you made it from the grave, not the grave, because the grave is not a grave no more. When you make alcohol, there's no grave, that's it. The grave became alcohol. So the good provision coming from the alcohol, 
and he is saying it's a why it's a sign from Allah. Why? Muhammad tried to explain how somebody drinks some wine and he loses his mind. He says this is a sign from Allah. Even getting drunk is a sign from Allah. So getting stupid will make you sign. And this is a sign from Allah too. And you know what? If Allah will bring you, give you alcohol, you can, it doesn't make you drunk. So he took alcohol from it. That is a cheating. And what? And why he? Why he promised you wine? I mean, what's wrong? What? What wine for? What the obsession with the wine in the heaven? What exactly the wine for then? Hmm? Why? If we go to the heaven of Allah, there is okay. If we go to this verse, I'll show you. The heaven of Allah contain few things. For sure, six is number one part of them. But let us see, you are sitting now in the heaven of Allah. What Allah will provide to you? Number one thing, there's a garden enclosed and a grave vines. Next to it, there's big boobs. Read. He don't even say women. He said big boobs. Even the word women is not there. So big boobs of what? A cow? What kind of God? He described heaven to you. And he says there's a grape. And those grape will come to you. Okay. And big boobs. I mean, do you see the flight of thought? What the connection? What is the connection between the grape and the big boobs? You see, when you say grape, you say grape, uh, apple. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, you are counting for me fruit. But you say there's a grape, uh, vine, trees, and then big boobs. What does this have to do with this? What is the connection? <clears throat> hmm? Any Abdul? Sayyid is saying, go to the tafsir. Okay, Sayyid, why you don't call me so we go to the tafsir? And that will make you die laughing. When a Muslim, they explain something, they confuse you more. Do you dare to call me? Do you dare? <clears throat> hmm. Who's next? Anyone? Let us see if there is any other Muslim. If you are a Christian, don't send me a message saying debate this guy and debate that guy. Any Christian who send me a text message in Plat Talk, I'm going to block you. Because you are just to waste my time going over text I don't need to read. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Look like we have zero Muslim. Poor, poor Nader Ahmad. Anyone?
Actually, there's some hadith Muhammad he said proving to us that Muhammad is mentally ill. Kamar is made from five things. Bait, wheat, uh, barley, honey, and grapes. <laughs> but the Quran is praising alcohol and saying it's a good provision for you. And the Muslim, they try their best. They say, oh no, here the provision is the grape. Yeah. But he's, make, he's saying clearly, you make from this alcohol. This is what you make from it. And he called it good provision. So if he's talking about the grave, or sorry, the, the grape, he will not mention what come out of it, calling it good provision. What come of it is good. That's why, okay, if alcohol, if alcohol is bad, what is the good provision then is coming out of it? Why is mentioning the word sakaron? Tatakhiduna minhu sakaron. You get drunk from it. Warizqan hasanan. And you and good provision. Okay. And this is a sign for those who believe or they have wisdom. So what is the wisdom? To notice what Allah gave you that you can make from the grape, from the palm date, a good provision alcohol. It's a sign from Allah. Anyone? <clears throat> and then you will notice that this verse, by the way, is forbidden later, because if it's about, it's abrogated, if this is about grape, a grape never be abrogated. You can always eat a grape. You will see the Muslims and their interpretation saying, this is before this verse was abrogated. So what is abrogated about it? That alcohol is a good provision. How you can, how you can abrogate a verse saying alcohol, sorry, grape is good. You ask any Muslim, they say, no, we can eat grape. So what is abrogate about it? If this is about a grape. What abrogated about it is the verse praising alcohol. Any Abdul? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. So you guys can download this video and let uh, <coughs> uh, Nader Ahmad, who he have to go. Uh, he have to go, I mean, you know, he have to go. Hmm. Yeah, see, there's many hadith about this story here. Let us see. Anyone? Last call. Any Muslim? May they, may they. All right, Muslim, I leave you with the big boobs of Allah. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself now in the heaven of Allah. There's big grape, vein, vine around you, and big boobs. Brother, it's time to remember the gifts of Allah, the pooby God, the booby God who nobody can compete with him. The God who made miracle, he make you get a drunk. 
It's a sign from Allah. You were not drunk an hour ago, and now you are speaking words. Nobody knows what you mean. It's a sign. Black label sign. Very beautiful. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you, and we will see you soon again. Don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe. And if you subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because Allah, according to Allah religion, Allah will double the bad, the good deed. You know, he, so you do bad deed, and then you made a good deed, and then Allah erase your bad deed, and he give you the deed. So let me explain to you, Muslim, why you need to subscribe to me. Subscribing to me, it's a bad deed. Then you unsubscribe. Then Allah will erase the bad deed, and you will win two good deed, brother. Keep doing this all day long. By the end of the day, you will make millions of deeds for free. Unbelievable. Actually, before I start the video today, I saw a commercial of Muslim that are saying, the Prophet says that the one who build the, who build the mosque, Allah will build the house for him in heaven. <laughs> True story. Thank you very much. God is good. And pray for the Muslims. We love them. We don't hate them. But we hate lies and we hate deception. We are against deception. Deception is our enemy. It's not the Muslims. Muslims are poor people. We pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set them free. The Lord, he says, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the light. I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. Who he believe in me, he will never die. Who who believe in me, he will live. We invite you Muslims to live with the Holy God, not with the perverted prophet. Come to Messiah, he is the only savior, no one else. His name is holy, his act is holy, his word is holy, and he is holy. And even in Quran, chapter 19, verse 19 says, the Holy Son. And the question is, Jesus is the Holy Son of who? Even his birth is a miracle. Not only him is a miracle. What an amazing person to follow. The Messiah. Holy is your name. And holy who you are. And your holy is what we seek. God bless you and see you soon again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you very much.